Jason, welcome to Love Film. Hi. How's it going? Good, good. How are you? Yes, very well. Thank you. Now, after the success of Twilight, and it was a phenomenal success, um, with New Moon, we see your character, Edward and Bella, kind of move on to kind of a different stage, and it's a bit more complicated, their relationship. Would, mm. would you agree? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I think... I think there's no... The first one was about just the initial impact of falling in love, which I think is its much more uh, pure emotion. It, it's like, you know, you're only, it's its more simplistic in a lot of ways. You're, you're only thinking like one thing. Sure. And then New Moon is, I guess, about the reality of having a relationship with someone, which is <laughs> immediately all, every the, a negative side comes out of falling in love with them as well, which all the doubt and fear comes out as well. So. I think, yeah, I think it is a bit more complex. Now, obviously, there is a huge fan base. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty phenomenal. Do you, do you feel um, as protective over Edward as, as the fans do? I do, and I think the best way to deal with it is to never patronise an audience at all and, like, and think, like, oh, we're doing it for... because everyone said, oh, it's a tween film, blah, blah, blah. And, like, you know, I don't think a tween really would refer to themselves as a tween. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's, uh, I don't think it should be trying to make it for tweens. No, I mean. but that's the phenomenal thing about the Twilight Saga is that it has such a broad reach. It's not just teenagers, yeah. it's people of all ages and that have an attraction to it. There's it's always constantly referred to as young people's film and book, and you see more people, I mean, more people even come up to me in the street who are older. Like, I don't have that many young kids coming no. up, and like... Well, I think because you identify with it as sort of your childhood sweethearts, actually it works kind of on an older level almost because you kind of identify with those experiences as opposed to not yeah. necessarily experiencing them for the first time. There's an innocence about it as well, which I guess people want to think about their youth as being that of innocent. They do. Yeah, and a bit I think rose tinted. Yeah, and I think like most young people are just thinking that's not what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> What was it like? Obviously, we have a different director now, Chris. What was it like working with him after working with Catherine on, on Twilight? I think their personalities kind of reflect the storyline changes in a lot of ways. I mean, Catherine, Catherine is kind of has this like wildness about her. She's very pure. Like she kind of like when she's talking about the sort of ecstasy of falling in love. Like she'll kind of like like drift off into her own little world <laughs> and stuff. Whereas Chris is much more uh, like literary and uh, and likes to sort of analyze the sort of emotional core of things rather than just let things exist. Sure. Yeah. Now, Stephanie Myers has come out and said that she's team Jacob. As as a fan, would you would you be team Edward or would you be team Jacob? I think team Jacob as well. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? I just think there's something about his character. I mean, I, I don't think necessarily like Bella should choose him. <laughs> but um <laughs> But I don't know, I get where he's coming from, I get that kind of... I don't like relationships where... where I remember when I was that age and I saw my friends and stuff getting into relationships and then they get so obsessed with each other and then alienate themselves from everyone. And I always hated it so much, So and I always see Edward and Bella's relationship being a bit like that. Yeah, all-consuming. Yeah, and um, I never liked that, and it seems like, you know... Um, Jacob never loses sight of his, his friends and, and just accepts Bella sure. into that. And she likes being part of the whole world rather yeah. than just being part of one person. Um, on that note, Robert, thank you very much for talking to us. Okay. <laughs>